I'd like to begin today by opening up. I'd like to share with you some of the tender bits that live in the heart of my soul, of who I am as a person. When we're getting ready to go onto the stream, in case any of you are watching on YouTube, I normally go to this screen and I count myself in, right? Just do a little counting. You know what this is useful for? The editor. Because they can go to this screen and they can know that I'm going to count down and then I'm going to stop talking so they can shuck shung take the paper cutter right to the editing. I have a clean segment for the YouTubes. Now, I have been doing this for 13 years. I've counted myself in thousands of times. So sometimes when I'm counting myself in, I fully zone out. And that just happened. I was counting down from 10, then I started to read my email, and then I realized, has it been like 30, 40 seconds? <laughs> Welcome to Songs of Conquest, yo. I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. I got the chance to meet the developers of the PC Gaming Show, which, by the way, it's happening in a few weeks, and I'm doing recordings for it next week. Um, got the chance to meet them at the PC Gaming Show. Um, lovely people really enjoyed their presentation. This game is a spiritual successor to Heroes of Might and Magic. Heroes of Might and Magic is what I think Songs of Conquest named, in a way that I've never really heard before, they called it an adventure strategy game. In these types of games, you have a castle, and you can conquer multiple castles. But in particular, at each castle, you can build up ways to make monsters, to make units, to make military that then get attached to a hero, and your hero marches around in overworld map and goes on adventures, gathering more resources, claiming more territory, even solving some fantasy-esque puzzles like solving riddles with a sphinx, and your hero can encounter other heroes, where you then zoom in old-school JRPG style and have a nice fight. Um, incredibly addicting and incredibly satisfying gameplay. I just love Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Still one of my favorite games of all time. I know everyone says that they love 3, uh, and 3 is great, but 2 is the kind of game that, like, I, I kind of faked sick in school a lot to play through a lot. I have very fond memories of that. So the kind developers over at Lava Potion... And Kofstein Studios shipped me a key. They even tweeted at me because I'm like a big deal. Like, you know, people tweet at me sometimes. What are you going to do? We're going to hop into playing it for the first player. Uh, start a new campaign or start the skirmish? Oh, we're going to do the campaign. Absolutely. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, now, um, one thing to note, the audio levels have been kind of all over the place in this game. So we had to turn it way down in the menu. So let me know if we need to turn it way up when we're in the game. So... Cecilia Southheart, the young Baroness of the Barony of Stoutheart, must face enemies within and without to hold on her power and protect her people. Stoutheart will stand from the ashes. Second song? I'm just going to do the first song. Oh. In the year 593 Ancient Apparition, young Cecilia Stoutheart rose to Baroness after the untimely death of her father. When are shipments from Barkspur's rich mines, excuse me, when, when or shipments from Barkspur's rich mines go missing, and rumors of bandits are brought to the new ruler, Cecilia leads a small force to investigate the missing resources and restore lawfulness to the barony. All right. I'm going to crank this audio up a little bit. Perfect. We're loading. Hold Alt. To highlight objects on the map. All right. Cecilia Stoutheart, the new Baroness of the Barony of Stoutheart, was on her way to the quarries of Flint Hills. All shipments of stone from this region had stopped, and she was determined to find out why. She suspected an uprising of bandits and peasants, and had already sent troops to the region to restore order. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, travel to Flint Hills. All right, so let's see. Do, does WASD move me around? It sure does. So we can click on the mini-map, I assume. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that scrolling. Movement! Click the right mouse button to select a destination for your wielder. Ah, so wielders are heroes, I assume. Right-click the same destination again to confirm and move. As a wielder, you also interact with locations using right mouse button. Left mouse used for selection and inspection. 
movement indicator shows how many movement points your wielder has left. This is refreshed each new turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, again, I'm super, super, super familiar with the Here's My Magic franchise. And so the idea is that you're going to have an overworld where you have a small number of pieces that move around, kind of similar to some of the um, uh, recent Total War games. Has movement points. Great, great, great. When your wielders have no more movement, you might want to end your turn. If you have nothing left to build or research, press the end turn button. Got it. So, dude, I'm going to go... Look at this. So, I see... I can right-click to investigate various locations and sort of see what's off this way. But let's go ahead and just go here and click to confirm. Gallows. Death comes to all... Oh. It's a gloomy sight. Does it actually spend my movement points each time? That's nice. All right. Uh-oh. Aurelian Milestone. This old milestone shows the way. Plus two movement, duration, one turn. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, dude. So if I hit alt... Sweet, look at this dead commander. Is this my movement points up here? The dead commander wore stout heart colors and the distinctive sign of the Corvus Reserves. Stolen ore was one thing, but an uprising against stout heart troops was more serious. Out of movement points. Yeah, okay. So it looks like I have my end turn button over here, and it's E. Ooh, that's dangerous. You have WASD, and to just end your turn, you just tap E. Oh my god. All right, very well. So I see. So this this does remind me a lot of Heroes of Might and Magic 2, right? We see these different uh, groups of troops that I can have here. Groups, troops. Can the camera rotate? I don't believe so. Which, good on them, man. Oh, I see. I can I can right click to fast move. Nine hundred G's, baby. All right, look, we have gold, stone, wood, glimmer weave, ancient amber, celestial ore. Yeah, you can hold Alt to see the grid. And also, when you right click, it doesn't actually confirm and move you right away. It shows you how far it is. So I assume. Actions remaining this round. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it, it shows you how many turns it takes to get to a specific location. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look, the alt actually creates the text above the locations. Oh, that's crisp. Then and logo maybe needs repositioning. Absolutely not, Delphosaurus. Not in a million years. I think my logo is perfect. Uh-oh. Some wounded soldiers appeared from the forest and snapped to attention. This was Cecilia's Corvus Reserves, and they had clearly seen combat recently. Baroness, oh my god, fuck! Corvus Reserves await your command! So, um, in the same way an old RP... Is it just me, or did the game get real loud? Alright. Um... Craig says, oh, is this guy voice acted by us? I actually do all the voice acting for all the characters in the game, Craig. Um, your hero, again, has a, a set of troops that are then participating in the fight. I don't know what the fights look like in the game yet. Am I, am I still audible over this? Sound is fine, I think. Okay. Does, it does seem a little loud. I mean, as someone who's a monument to vanity... So it looks like they'll be joining me in improving my army size. Lieutenant, you've seen some combat. What is the situation and the status of the mines? Our scouts detected hostiles, milady. The gold mine to the cell. Oh, it's been seized. We also encountered unexpectedly well-armed force at Flint Hills. To the west, we took some heavy casualties. We were forced to retreat. How well armed. Oh, these are not peasants with tools and knives. They have bows. They have swords. Oh, fuck the bannerless knights ride with them. This is no peasant uprising. 
Someone thinks me weak and seeks to take advantage of my father's death to steal more than a few shipments of ore. We must uphold the laws and show them the error of their ways. Few things turn me on more than following laws. Gather the troops. We march for Flint Hills. Troops want to join. Perfect. Is that what troops you want to move to your wielder? So if I move this one... So is it click and drag? Alright. Max troop size. So I can't move it to here, but I can probably collapse on, huh? And I can have these guys stack. Cool. Plus two movement. Soldiers are camped here. The camp can be pillaged for gold or the soldiers can be recruited when they return. I will recruit soldiers. 16 out of 20. Waterfall. Keep going. Resting for a while. By this waterfall invigorates the troops. Plus three movement duration. Two turns. I feel so invigorated right now. Oh, dude. This is so... Oh. Oh, yeah. So, um... To frame a little bit about how these games typically work, there's this overworld map, and you can see that we have a hero that we're going to be moving through here, and eventually we'll be able to get to this area, Flint Hills, which is up in this region. And you travel along these paths, winding through, eliminating enemies to do things like claim the gold mine. And then every time I end my turn, the gold mine will generate for me some gold. So um, this radius is if I walk nearby those troops, they will fight me. Now, they don't move. They're just sort of guards there. So you kind of get through the habit of trying to figure out whether you can or can't engage some of these. And what's really funny is in the early old... Here's my magic games. It says, Rebel Militia. It seems they are a number between 1 and 25. Mm. Uh, in those games, it would say... All right, there's a few peasants. Which I believe meant like, you know, between 0 and 10. And then there were, uh, a group of peasants was like 10 to 40. And then there's lots of peasants, was 40 to 100. Then there was like a throng. And then Zounds peasants. Right? You had so many different sort of bands of size. So between 1 and 25 makes sense because, again, these games often get you to like hundreds of, of troopers. Let's go ahead and end the turn with the E button. Let us fight. Stand down. This mine belongs to the Barony of Stoutheart. It belongs to me. We will do no such thing. You would be wise to go back to your castle and prepare for a storm. <laughs> There's one coming, I gather. The only storm gathering here is me. Oh my god, we're so tough, man. Such a stout heart. Troop deployment. Oh, now this is new. On the deployment screen, you can rearrange your troops before entering battle. You can only place troops on tiles with your team color. Tiles that are elevated. High ground. Give bonus to the offense and defense to both melee and ranged units. Cool. Ranged troops can target any enemy within their range. And within their deadly range, they will afflict double damage. Afflict double damage? Inflict double damage? Hmm? Can you hover over the orange for a tooltip? No, it's, it's just quite orange. There's no line of sight. The only limit is how far their weapons reach. But note, you can increase their range by moving to high ground. Top right corner, you can see the enemy's troops. Great. If you have enough scouting, they'll be placed on the colored tiles on the right side of the battlefield. If you engage the enemy and then realize the opponent's army is too powerful, you can withdraw at no penalty. If the enemy engages you, there is no possibility to withdraw. Quick battle option will also auto-resolve the battles. Why would I ever do that? After the battle, you'll be presented with the result of victory or defeat. The troops lost will be shown. Cool. And if the two combatants are wielders, there's a chance of spoils of war in the form of artifacts. Ooh! It is a good day to fight. If you're defeated, you lost all your troops, which means that your wielder is dead. A dead wielder can be revived at a cost, or for free after a given number of rounds at any of your towns or settlements. Got it. Now, I, I, I like this. I like the fact that fighting can actually give you a benefit. Um, you know, I, I think that in... 
I would say in strategy games, but I think it's true in any game at all where there's power growth, you need to make sure that there's a lot of positive incentives to be interactive. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, uh, typically there is going to end the game as fast as possible, and then there's getting enough power to where there is no way to lose the game, and then you go win the game, right? This is the classic aggro versus control style of card games or a more turtly defensive player in StarCraft versus a timing push or rushing or harassing player. And the whole gist is, um, a, 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 that control list is, well, dude, why would I not go for more resources and get bigger and get more powerful so that way there's no way my opponent can possibly defeat me? It's a legitimate strategic choice, but in terms of fun, man, I don't know if any of you have ever played multiplayer Heroes of Might and Magic or ever played multiplayer Civilization, or even just played multiplayer StarCraft, a lot of times one player just knows the build order better, gets more resources better, and has snowballed to the point where they can't lose, and yet nobody's had a single fight yet. <laughs> so I like this. I like that you, you can get artifacts in order to do more stuff. That seems great. Or you can get artifacts in order to grow in power as a form of interacting. All right, so let's see here. So, oh. Oh, listen to that audio. So is this high ground? So I think, uh, I guess I'll do something like this. What is your movement? Excuse me. Movement of three. Movement of four. One, two, three, four. So these these guys might get hurt, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. All right, excuse me. I got to slip under your head here. There we go. All right, manual battle. Good morning, Mr. Gray Screen. Yeah. All right. I, I, have my, I have my right hand gal here. She is my commander. In battle, it is your goal to kill all enemy units. Yes! Your wielder, or the enemy wielder, is not present on the battlefield, but acts as a spellcaster from behind the lines. This is Heroes Might and Magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the idea is my um, my spellcaster is basically like a, a collection of passives and spells. The order of battle follows the battle queue, which is based on each troop's initiative. You can only control a troop on their battle turn. Use this to move and target enemy troops, hovering an enemy troop with your cursor, provide an attack preview. Using that on any troop will give you a full display of the troop's information. Okay, cool. Whenever a troop gets a turn, the wheel will gain essence. Oh my god, Dahaka fans everywhere rejoice. Whenever a troop gets a turn, the wheel will gain essence for your spell casting. Your wielder also generates essence it might have gained from artifacts, blah, 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 at the start of each new battle round. Oh, this is interesting. The spells button will indicate available spells you currently cast. The quick bar will by default auto-populate with top available spells for easy access in every battle. So here's what's really interesting to me here. The in Here's My Magic, you used to just have um Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm, we're managing some stuff here. We're managing some serious stuff. Alright, so let me tell you. Let me tell you the situation we're in. Outside of this game. Let me finish this comment about this game, then I'm going to tell you the situation that I personally day and item in. So, in those old games, you just had a shitload of magic points on your hero. So you could enter a battle with like 50 out of 50 um, magic points and then just like blow up your opponent on turn one. And it was actually really funny in multiplayer Here's Mind Magic. There were builds where you would get a magic immune unit and you'd get like six of them, so you had nothing. And then your enemy would show up with like a thousand dudes. And then the battle would begin, but the magic immune creatures you had had the highest initiative, so you'd always get to go first. So you would just cast a spell that killed all units. <laughs> but yours wouldn't die because they're magic immune, right? It's like so fucking stupid, man. So I kind of like this idea that there's a build up over the course of the game. Obstacles, such as stakes, barrels, or other objects, can be cleared by damage. High ground gives offense and defense bonuses to both melee and range. Range troops can target an enemy within their range. However, within their deadly range, they'll inflict double damage. Great. 
Most troops have attacks of opportunity. If you move a troop into an enemy troop's melee range, their zone of control, and then try to move within, through, or leave that area, the enemy troop will perform a free attack. All right. All right, well, sick. So here's the... So here's me. What is this? This is my spells. All right. We're kind of going a little um, information heavy, but that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Your wielder can cast spells. Well, not in battle. You can review your essence sources and plan your spell casting. Okay. Each spell costs essence to cast, and which spells you can cast depends on both which essence sources you have and how much you can gain in battle. Troops are your most important source of essence, really, but you can also gain it from artifacts, skills, buildings, and research. Interesting. By default, the quick bar will be auto-populated with available spells. Great, you can also choose to manually manage your quick bar by toggling auto-populate to off at the bottom. This manual mode you can drag, sure. Each time you take a turn with your troops in battle, you will gain essence of the type related to that troop. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Despy. We're gonna manage essences. Oh, this is so sick. I think, I assume the essences are something like, you know, you need red mana to cast red spells and magic blue mana to cast blue spells and etc. Each time you take a turn with your troops in battle, you will gain essence of the type related. Your current essence amount in a given essence type will be determined by uh, which spells. Yep, each time you cast, your current essence will be depleted. Uh-huh, if your wielder has more sources of essence other than all this bullshit, then things will happen. Okay. Each troop gives your wielder one or more essence specific to that troop type. So I see him getting three blue -lu -lus each turn. If any troops are lost before their turn, that source of essence will be lost. Okay. One stack with three militia units will give you one order essence. If you, before the battle, split it up into three stacks, each containing one militia unit, each individual troop battle turn would provide your wielder with one order essence. Oh. Races could have sworn we had three stacks in the campaign. I, I combined them. I combined them into two stacks. Quicken. Oh my god, dude, this is so sick. Look at this. So with Order Essence, I can make them move faster. I can protect. Target enemy troop gets minus 25% damage. Great. All friendly troops get so much. Oh shit. And then what is this? This is Chaos Essence. Move one target. Move target friendly troop one hexagon. Troop will randomly end up in one of the adjacent hexagons. Fuck yeah, I love that. Deal eight damage to target troop. And look, you have these sort of combos, which requires three order, three arcane. What's the order in chaos? All friendly troops get minus 25 defense, plus 25 melee offense. Oh my god. Dude, fuck yeah, man. Oh my god. And I bet you these are configurable. Alright. So right click, left click gives me all the information. So, I mean, if this is similar to Here's Might and Magic, the way that it works then is... Um, huh. Okay. The way that this works is that this is five dudes, each of which... I wish I could actually hover over this and move my mouse. See at the top of the, of the bar where it says one to three, health, six out of six? Because there's five of them on there, that's 30 total hit points that's on there. So let's go ahead and just like wander my booty here. And I, it, it's not the turn of this one. And then, so these three are going to get to go, and then my guy's going to get to go. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Your wielder has gained essence. And more spells are now available to cast. If your wielder has enough essence, you can cast multiple spells on each of your troops' battle turns. All right. Okay. All right. So, oh, this is, this is insane. Look at this. This will deal 63 to 95 damage, killing all 10 of them. And it's also telling me why that's occurring. Now, this guy I can actually hit, but this guy is not actually in my deadly range. So this one is, so you'll see the deadly range plus 100% damage bonus. Sick. Oh, look, Quicken. 
plus five initiative. So let me cast it on this guy. Does he actually change his spot? It's like, no. So let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Did you get to come? Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Your troop has entered an enemy troop's zone of control. If you move out of or through this area, an enemy troop gains an attack of opportunity. All right, so I see. So it goes... Yeah, so whenever you attack, the enemy cracks back, but it cracks back after I've dealt the damage. So let's say I have 10 dudes and you have 10 dudes, and let's say each of them deals two damage. If I hit you first to deal 20, your 10 might shrink to seven, who then cracks me back for 14. So being able to attack first is really, really importante. What is this? Another quicken? Don't even care. Oh! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. God. I'm a gamer, baby. I am a gamer. So, a um, couple things to note. Um, I, I'm, in a, I'm in a peculiar pickle today because old Cecilia, my dog, uh, was at the dog groomers. So, the wife Aroni is picking up the dog arena right now by going down, walking, picking up Cece, coming home. The car is also currently getting cleaned, getting detailed, because, well, we drive a dog around inside of that car, and it's kind of, it's been dogged. And also, the plumber's coming to help fix a toilet. Because guess what? We have one of those endlessly refilling toilet issues. And as handy as we are, we couldn't make it stop. So, at some point, at some point, there's going to be a knock at the door of a plumber, or maybe a ring at the phone saying that there's a car, or perhaps even Cecilia Bone Eyes is going to come on back home. Why well, is this still fighting the dog hair life? It's less the dog hair and more the disease and blight that the dog brings to the car. Level up, leveling up your wheelers about skills and powers. And choose either to upgrade a skill your wielder already knows, learn a new skill, or increase the wielder's ability to command their troops by unlocking more slots in their army. No fucking way, that's so sick! The new skills offered are determined by the class your wielder. Spellcasters will uh, more often be offered essence related skills than battle oriented wielders. Some skills are also not available to be picked before you reach a high enough level. I'm familiar with this shit. Level 8, your wielder will be able to choose their first power. From there on, the wheel will be presented with a new power every eighth level. 16, 24, and so on. You can get higher than that. Oh! Powers are superior to skills and will add a real advantage in both battle and building your kingdom. We're able to close the level up menu if you need to review things. Or don't feel ready to pick a skill or power. You can always come back to the choices by clicking the level circle. You got it, man. It's no problem. I'm holding the head of this perfect little cat. All right, your troops gain 20% melee resistance, or your ranged troop gain 20% range, or unlock the ability to bring four troops with you into your battle. I'm gonna get the melee resistance one. I like that one. So now that I've cleared this, I can get the gold that's on the ground, plus 800 gold. Take back the gold mine optional. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that, you kidding me? So now, now I have this gold mine. So this one gives plus 500 gold around. So you'll see that it's 17 plus 500. This, this is where you start to just get hooked. So I can touch this and get more movement. What do you hear? Despy's on alert. Cecilia was no ordinary commander. She was a wielder and could draw upon the essence of her troops to weave mighty spells. As she touched the, oh shit. See, I, I keep hitting this button to center because I want to see it. Ah, what did it say? What did it say? What did it say? What did it say? I have no idea. Walking this old battlefield inspires caution. Plus 20 defense, minus 10 offense. Duration, plus one battle? I'm going up here, man. Soldiers are recruited. Oh, shit, yeah. So 
We have militia, we have rangers. Source of riches. Question now says, can we adjust the speed of pop-ups an option? It's not the speed of pop-ups, it's that when I hit the button to pan the camera, it closes the pop-up. And I'm just sort of constantly, unconsciously centering and readjusting the camera. All right, let's go ahead and get more militia. I think that's great. I, I have nothing to spend the gold on. Six footmen. Hell yeah. Armor rack. Your wielder has gained a new artifact. You can review your inventory and equipment in the wielder sheet next to the wielder portrait. An artifact will be auto-equipped if your wielder has an empty slot. Sure. So... Wielder sheet. Great. So it tells me the skills, tells me the powers, shows me the artifacts, attributes. Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the day nine intro to this stuff. And modifiers? Oh boy. Oh boy. So we just picked up this uh, plate mail, which is this bonus to defense here. Um, so the, the hero has stats, offense and defense, that doesn't mean the hero actually gets to do those exact things. But rather, it is a modifier on the existing qualities of your troops. So, I mean, if you have, like, really high offense, a thing that d dealt a little bit of damage could then just have crazy bonus damage if you had incredibly high offense, this sort of thing. Alright, temporary modifiers, right? So this is just showing me equipment modifiers. Great. So it's plus 34 defense because we went to the old battlefield, because we have this giving us more defense, and I assume that 10 defense is my my base. Yep, there it is, 10 defense. All right, so you can go below zero, nice. Unless the ability to bring three troops with you and your army. All right, nice, so this is actually more straightforward. Powers, I assume, are big, big passive. This little cat literally just wants to be right here all day. It's it's awesome. Going around this way. Shrine of Relia, treasure chest level one. Great. Oh, I like that treasure chest level one. That's nice. Hundreds of years ago, the Empire of Relia spanned the whole world. Statues of the Empress can still be found spread across Arleon and many folks drink. Speak dreamingly and dream speakingly of the golden years of Aurelia. More initiative, more troop movement. Initiative, that's actually so sick. If I hit I, can I open this? Nope. Dude, initiative means that my dudes can go first, and going first is huge in these games. Plus 1300 gold. Alright, to battle! Lockwolf says tribute to order. As she touched the old tribute to order, she felt its essence empower her. That a head would be needed. Wait, this one? Was that one really? Plus one order duration, one battle? Nice. Sick. Now if I hit E, oh, if I accidentally tap E, it does just end the turn for me. Wow, that's dangerous. That's really dangerous, man. Erected barricades and a small force of armed peasants blocked the road west. You best be gone, young stout heart. Flint Hills are free lands now. Free? Free to be attacked by bandits and pillaged by other baronies? Who will protect the people? You? Oh, yeah, that's right, man. We're about to go Team America world police on these guys, man. <laughs> Let's kick down the door and protect the shit out of you. Why not? As you can see, we're quite well armed. I can see that, but I caution you to think carefully before your next actions. Put down your weapons, answer my questions, and I'll be merciful. Or stand unlawfully against me, and my sword will deliver justice. Now, who armed you? One of good intentions, I've seen Stoutheart Mercy, when old Lord Hammond was decapitated by your father. Now turn back. Well, it brings me no pleasure to face the consequences of my actions, or to turn my sword upon my subjects, but unlawful acts will not be tolerated. 
I want to be clear on this again, I love obeying the law. Militia are here, footmen are here. Rangers, what is the range? Seven, and this is a range of five. Yeah, this actually seems... Yeah, I guess I'll kind of go along this way. Do, 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 do. Assemble of militia, threat level easy, or perhaps threat level midnight. Theoden Parcel says the law, Craig has... Oh my god, I fucking love the law. Oh shit, look at that, that order. Oh my god, you can generate order only in battle. Oh my god, it's so good. Hello. We're gonna get a meow. We're gonna get a meow. Hold on. We're gonna shake her a little bit. By wiggling her, this is this is what Jackson Galaxy refers to as putting energy into the cat. Let's see if we can get a reaction. Hey! That's a good girl. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, it's bad. Isn't that incredible? All right, one more. One, can we get one more? I don't know, we're gonna have to wait a sec, because I put some energy into the cat, and now I need to be in her space. And now that I'm in her space, we have to be very careful. That little face. All right, to battle. All right, the militia man. Oh, look at this, we have little spike barricades. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so this is, so we end the turn. Now it's this one, huh? So we will, what is this protection? Target friendly troop gains plus 10 defense. Now one of the things that I'm curious about is it says defense. But I don't know how that affects the map. There, I mean, Heroes had, like, an equation. Easy. Wow, really? I can hit that guy? What's your range? Your range is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it looks like when I'm on high ground, I get some bonus range. And I'm trying to figure out what, what the bonus range is. Oh, it literally says right there, high ground, plus 3 range. Nice. All right. Let's make, oh, there, there's the enemy. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so what is this? Enemy troops get minus 25. I don't, I don't think I'll use this. All right, so I, I'm actually going to walk up to here because we're getting all of our turns coming up next. So I'm gonna walk here. Doing a quick 48. Now this one can actually shoot this one. Cannot attack while reloading, really? All right, so. Now, is there, like, a number that says how long it takes for the reload? If you perform one range to attack, then needs to reload. I see, so that's a property. Give me a quick moment. There might be a plumber in our midst. Uno momento. I don't know if you've heard the good news. I don't know if you've heard the good news. But Cece's home. Alright, excuse me. Meow! Dude, Cece's home. And there was no plumber, there was a Cece. And I went down in order to uh, get a kiss from Cece. 
She didn't want to kiss me. Can you believe that? Alright. Oh, look at this bannerless knight. I think this might be threat level midnight. Let me hit the E button. I mean... I'm going in. I like these little torches here. To provide a little bit of points of interest. Alright. To battle. As Cecilia's troops approached Flint Hills, a well-armed force of soldiers wearing no baronies' colors came out to meet them. Knights! Archers! You're no ordinary bandit force. I've always wanted to kill a wielder. <laughs> I don't remember what voice I'm using for anybody. You won't be the first upstart knight I've defeated. Uh, let's see here. Rangers. Rangers have lower range. I actually want to move this forward a little bit. I like the rangers up here. And the militia a little bit farther forward. Yeah, I think the, the footman being here is pretty good. I think that's being pretty good. Do, 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 do. Few knights, few archers, several footmen. Vo, vo, vo. Cecilia equals CC, yes. Shoots up. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's a lot of damage and a lot of health. What, what do these guys have? Six health? So we're not even going to kill one. Holy. All right, well. Shot shot. All right, we're going to kill one. Okay, what is this? Protection. Target friendly crew gets plus 10 from... We're gonna, we're gonna protect this one for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and just do a little swiping. Can't attack while reloading. Pathetic. Uh, all right. Well, all right. Well, this is the game. Let's go ahead and hit E. Ah. Ooh, there it is. Stabbed out. Arr. What is this? Targeting the troop did minus 25% damage. Dude, why can't I move far at all? This is so terrible. Outside range? You're joking me. Alright, so if I move here... And then move back... Very good. Ow. Get in there. What does this do? Everybody now. Dude, my militia just getting railed on them. Alright, let's end that. Let's get you up there. Let's hit you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Victory. Feeling really good. Feeling really proud of myself. Victoire, experience points. Very good. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I, I remember um, hearing the developers of of uh, the last night talking about, like, pixel graphics being the base, but then incorporating lots of modern techniques. And this game just really feels like a good embodiment of that, don't it? Like, yeah, we kind of have some pixel effects, but, like, look at the nice rain there's like the sort of tilt shift camera where we see the pixels out of focus it's very nice all right let's go ahead and keep on going this way a crowd of peasants led by a village elder came out to greet cecilia as her force entered flint hills i have defeated the rebels and restored Flint Hills to the protection of Stoutheart, as is my duty. Now, who among you will tell me what has happened? Those knights and their soldiers appeared recently and armed all the local... Oh, this is a person speaking. Those knights and their soldiers appeared recently, armed all the local troublemakers. They seized our quarries. 
and Mainz started sending the shipments south towards Barksburg, where their patron waits. None of you stood against them? None of you sent word to the local warden? Or to Springhold? Or perhaps to an age vampire's force, Springhold? Meow? There you go. No, lady, we were feared for our lives, sent a messenger to Hope's Glade to warn them and ask for help, but the messenger never returned. Oh. Remember this moment the next time you are made the offer of independence. I'll always protect the barony from threats within and without. Join my forces and together we will restore order to this territory. We'll eat the coal of arms as stout art as we did for your father before you, who, by the way, is a murderer. There are able bodied recruits in the peasant hut. Okay. Now, how, do, how does this work? So, this isn't a castle yet, is it? But I can't tell if I can, like, build here or some shit. This is level two. I see. See, you 75 gold each round. So I can buy troops like this. I mean, this is the most that I can fit, because I already have a stack of 14. I mean, I don't see a reason not to. It's like level one, huh? So there's Militia, Blacksmith. Archer's Helmet, oh cool. Archer's Helmet, plus four defense, plus four defense, lots of defense. Out of movement, okay, we'll end the turn. this. Plus two stone each round. Getting more stone. Cozy tavern. Let's end the turn. Tavern fills any army with energy and vigor. So, I mean, I'm assuming that I'm just, like, going southward, huh? Ancient Cairn of Power? Hell yeah. A small band of Cecilia's scouts stood waiting along the side of the road. Lady Stoutheart, Corporal Greenwood, we've come from your warden. Vilia of Thorncliff, as per your command, your troops are concealed the Forest Edge. Corporal, this is not the Forest Edge. These troops suck. They're camped within the Tenderwild. You may have disturbed the Fae. Is Faye? What is it with people that write in fantasy where there is no agreement on how to spell the Faye? I have seen Faye written more times than any other word. Or written in more different ways than any other word. It's like F-A-E the Faye. Then there's F-E-Y the Faye. And then there's here the Faye. Alright, yeah, in F. Gandalf, yeah, there's the little umlaut. There's the fairy. See, for the uses because it comes from Celtics. Now you might say it's Celtic, but in America we have the Boston Celtics. So there it is. Yeah. I actually think it should be spelled F. The hey, my lady, surely the hey are only the myths, superstitions. Did my ancestors sign a covenant with mythological creatures? You fool, there's literally a contract. <laughs> my best friend's dad works at Fay. Law of the Leaves still stands. We must make sacrifice or break the peace. Consider what we must forfeit to the forest. Beings to atone for your error. Error. I await my judgment. My life is yours. This is how I want you to talk to me, okay? Let's see. Here is the light on this face so we can actually tilt this a little bit more away. Makes you a little bit look a little bit more even, a little bit more well rounded. Oh yes, yeah, see Coffee Mutes is to be fair, Boston thinks the donut is spelled D-O-N-U-T. Yeah, that's how I would spell donut. Your death would serve no one. If I remember my history, there is an offering tree southwest of here. Join up, Corporal. I need all of my troops, even the ones who suck. You loyal servant Leo, oh, I love it so much. Mass move. Alright, I'm gonna visit this. 
plus one offense, plus one defense. All right. Oh, look, giant mushrooms. We have the militia, so we'll just snag that gold. Old camp. Just picking up troop roopers. So maybe we'll like go like that. Plus one damage, plus one troop movement, minus 25 defense. Well, I mean, I actually think that's all right, because, I mean, dude, look at how much crazy loads of defense, including minus six. <laughs> 25 defense, actually, that's maybe, that's maybe quite a bit, huh? Place an offering at the tree? All right, sweet. We are going to go this way. Let's end this. Bay spirits, flying creatures of the tender wild, with bat-like wings, long claws, sharp teeth, and books with autographs in them. Swooped and buzzed before the offering tree, they wore strange masks and screeched at Cecilia and her troops. Humansby. <laughs> I found a typo. Uh, excuse me, the Humansby need be gone. Humansby, be gone. We wish to leave an offering for our trespass on the forest. As is stated in the ancient covenant between us, please consult the terms of service of the Tender Wild. Stand aside, little spirits. I would do my duty. There's not a typo. Humans be no humans. None of her. Spirits, do not trifle with me. I am stout heart, and by the agreements, again, I want to stress to you that the terms of service know how to navigate this scenario. If you continue to impede my passage to the offering tree, I will draw arms and put you out of your misery. You are a misery. Misery. This is what it feels like to get into arguments on Twitter. I think I just always want these guys far forward. This is an interesting battle. Maybe I should actually have everything far back. Many fey spirits. Alright. I'm gonna do something like this. This is really nice that there's like the attacks of opportunity. Where I can actually like place a guy. Oh, here's where the stats are. Great. So, if you take the offense stat and subtract the enemy's defense stat, it, it dictates how much damage there is. So, there's 12 defense, and I have uh, 16. So, it looks like 16. Well, I, I don't know if it's like a, what the scale is like, but it says plus 4% damage. And I mean, very clearly, 16 melee offense minus 12 defense. You know, maybe that's maybe it's actually enough. Maybe it's just four. Maybe that's where it comes from. Now, as a question for myself, if I move here, am I still allowed to shoot? Oh, fuck yeah. Look at the amount of damage. So now this is nice, because this guy has this entire zone that they, if anyone moves through, I get the attack of opportunity. Hell yeah. Hey, Joe Monkey, I saw the news on Twitter. I'm really glad that all the surgery and stuff went okay. I'm like really, really happy to hear that. Or operation or whatever the right term is. I'm glad the stuff, I'm glad the things went all right. Kasparvos is one year sub, a lot more lurker. Thanks for the unrelenting quality content. Oh my gosh, thank you, Kasparva. Thank you. Jomungi says, thanks, man. Only the third surgery on her shoulder. This time they just replaced it. No Predator-style plasma cannon implant, though. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I was hoping that she would just get one of those little Mega Man, you know, like, uh, uh, arms where you can just, like, latch on various uh, devices so she can, like, use, use Metal Man's abilities and shit. I'm gonna go ahead and do the command. 
uh, option here, just to increase. Now, those skills, so you'll notice it says skills, and there's a whole bunch of them. Whenever you level up, you often get the choice of, do I want to improve one of these, or do I want to get a new one? And it appears to be restricting what it's showing me, but often you'll just have, like, three skills that you haven't seen. I assume command you can always upgrade. Anarion says, hi to nine, long-time YouTube watcher from the UK. Taking the rare opportunity to thank you all the amazing content over the years. Well, hey, thanks, Anarion. Stopping by our little corner of the internet. See, all y'all spoil me, man. Just come by, say nice things. Oh, that's so much. Why would you ever do that, computer? Why would you turn the display off? Alright, so let's... Oh, I see. I need to get the gold first before I can go to the boots. Worn boots? What do these do? Plus one movement. Plus one view radius. Incredible. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the Fey Tree. The offering tree was the most unusual tree Cecilia had ever seen. It was seriously like quite an incredible tree. Her friend Vilia of Thorncliffe had described them once, but it had not done them justice. The branches were smooth and glossy and seemed to be lit from within. The leaves tinkled like a tiny bells in the breeze. Most uncommon, the tree gave off the aroma of warm spiced cider like her mother would give her when she was small. Hey, of the forest, for trespasses upon your woods, we offer compensation. These rangers were the idiots that broke the terms of service. Were these face spirits slain, I ask forgiveness? They could not be reasoned with. Uh, they really didn't use uh, gaps in their words. Oh, if you murder someone, you always pay a little money. It's like, fine, you just put the money in the tree. The offerings were pre- Okay, cool. I would love the ability to, like, just click to dismiss instead of the game deciding how long I should have these. Uh... Bat hole. And that turn, baby. And we'll worm my way over here. Oh. The path around here. Don't mind if I do. Old bones. A round shield. Ooh. La Defense. Excellent. Oh, I can't move anymore. Uh, I'm not saying the option you're looking for is there, but it seems like there's a scroll bar in the first menu tab. Maybe yes. There it is. All right, looks like no. <laughs> Stone altar, great. Plus five offense. Wow. Archway ruins. I'm going up here first, man. Cecilia examined the strange arch. She noticed that it was almost warm to the touch and vibrated slightly. She had studied many strange ruins from the times of Aurelia, but never one that seemed so alive. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and end this turn. And then I think it's time to go to battle. Guarding the road was a large force of mercenaries, hailing from the merchant states of Baria. Turn back. The road is open for ore shipments from Flint Hills only. I see you are strangers to these lands. Or would you know me as the lawful Baroness Stoutheart? I do not recall a declaration of war from the Barian city-states. Therefore, you are thieves and trespassers. What other crimes shall I add to the list? 
Oh, this is like a real American cop-ass thing to say, man. And what other crimes shall I charge you with, huh? Here it comes. It's crime o'clock, baby. <laughs> We've committed no crimes. We're honorable mercenaries. We're like the nicest murderers around. Here on contract and merely following orders. It's like not us. Miltum says, is good game. Um, we haven't seen a substantial uh, portion of it, Miltum. Like, we have really not seen a substantial portion of it. However, I will note, I will stress, I will claim, I will assert for sure that this taps into one of the core nostalgia centers in my body. So, uh, I mean... It's almost impossible for me to give you any objective assessment of this in the slightest. I actually rotate this just a smidge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Dude, the nut on this light is loose. You got a loose nut, man. So I'm actually, like, tenuously balancing it. <laughs> Little Tomb says, thank you, mate. <laughs> it, really, it was actually helpful enough to thank... I was expecting an okay dot dot dot, I guess, dot dot dot. Yeah, I'm not going to be objective about this shit. Why would I be objective about this kind of game? It's similar to Heroes of Might and Magic 2. It gets a 10. Like, what are you talking about? I don't even know how the construction works or how you operate multiple heroes or what the units are or what the spells are. Yeah, no, of course. It's my favorite thing I've done. Uh, We're not afraid to fight you, Stout Art, but be warned our contract stays to no one wearing stout or colors or to be spared on the battlefield. Of course, you turn around now again. We're like the we're the kindest mercenaries like ever. So like, it's not a big deal if you just bail. Never. You shall be treated as thieves and trespassers and total douchebags. And my sword will deliver justice for breaking our laws. Oh, let me unfortunately I'll stab you. To battle. All right, let's put our mercenaries here. This is the low range militia, the longer ranged rangers. A bevy of pioneers. Yeah. So, what is the movement range on these? Movement is three. So, so let's move one, two, three. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop to this high ground for this turn. So I'm going to give this one quick because you'll see that it it's going to be coming up last. So I'm going to quicken this one. I can I can get up to this high ground here. And that should give me Oh, that's outside of range. Is there a Z? Is there an undo? Oh shit, is there an undo? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Open the chat. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Let's send that. All right. Um. Oh, the bug reporter. <laughs> Feedback, and it's just like, oh, please, uh, let's incorporate, uh, I don't know. You know, I'm going to shoot this. No, I'm not. I'm going to end the turn. All right. Uh, fr fr frontal pioneers. One, two, three. All right, so we're just going to actually end turn here. So then they're going to get their goes. Oh, the Pikineers can actually stab from a, from a rate. Oh, my God. All right, so this is it. So this, we're in the deadly range. We're in the deadly range. Ah! So if I hover over this, this is offense greater than defense plus 38%. So actually, I'm curious about these numbers. This is a defense of seven. We have an offense, holy shit, a 45. Look at that. 45 minus 7 is oftentimes 38, so that's where those numbers are coming from. I don't believe it. I'm figuring it out. No! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I'd just like to note how anticlimactic that was after that very, very sort of like, oh my gosh, devastating conversation about what it means to be a barony and a traitor and a trespasser. Wow, it really sucks to lose that one footman, huh? Which one of you was that?
Uh, why not? Troops gain melee offense. We got a lot of archers. I'm just gonna go melee resistance. The gain. <laughs> look, at, look at you lining up to be the one that died. Wieners, wiener salad. Sir Hakado, stream bene. All right. The burnt building. The burnt building by the road. Source of riches. No survivors remain, but sifting through here was awesome. That clarinet, man. Cecilia's troops searched the smoking remains of Hope's Glade, looking for survivors. The townsfolk had clearly put up a fight, and for that they had suffered. From the rubble, they heard a moan, and they uncovered a badly injured militiaman. Mm -hmm. Oh, T.O.B. Bob says, when does this game come out? I don't like too much buying games on early access, T.O. Oh, here's my phone. Tia, let me look this up for you. Let me look this up for you. I'm going to find this out, because I have no idea. Oh. Game decided that I'd waited long enough. Ladies Town Art, we held as long as we could. We had to retreat. They were too strong. They had pikemen of range, too. Songs of Conquest is going to release... Oh, it's just, it's released. It comes out today. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is labeled as early access. Uh, oh, uh, maybe it's right now? Everything I'm... I have no idea. Like, what, what? what's happening? Oh, early access starts the 10th of May. Okay, so when it says it'll be about a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I gotta be honest with you, T.O. Like, first of all, first of all, there's a point that I want to make that has nothing to do with this game or what they have been presenting to the world at all. I just want to first make sure we agree on the statement that using search engines in 2022 is a shit experience. It's fucking terrible. It's the shittiest thing ever, using a search engine. I do things like, you know, how to uninstall an app on my phone. And there's a thousand websites that you open up and it says, the Samsung Galaxy is a phone that is made by Samsung. And I'm like, what the fuck is this article? <laughs> you know, I'm trying to scroll through. You know what? I don't use Google anymore to find answers to things. I use YouTube. That's where I go for all of my questions. Because, I mean, Google is, it just doesn't work for me anymore. Like using the Google search bar, it just, it's just a bunch of results of people that were trying so hard to optimize SEO. If I use Google and click on things, it's like just a virus ridden nonsense fest. It's just so bizarre. Yeah, search engine optimization makes everything worse. It's 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 this weird end result of something that's very sensible. Star Science says Google owns YouTube, so you still use Google? No. No, this, what? No! Oh, Star Singer, that's like saying, uh, Sean, you play StarCraft, but this is owned by Blizzard, so you play Overwatch 2 as well, right? No, I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like, because because they're just completely different formats, use completely different data and completely different, you know, result terms. And when there is a person that is actually making a video that allows me to scrub through, you know, Easy BFT says, well, actually, Sean pushes up glasses. You put those glasses right back down, Ed. So that's the first thing. I want to I want to just first note that like googling things has become such a pain lately, just in general. And furthermore, because we're all in the game space here. I work in games. I work in the media surround. I'm an enthusiast of games, right? And like, there's been so many delays and shifts and movements and motions as a result of COVID. And there's also been every manner of different form of release of like closed alpha, public alpha, open alpha, open beta, closed beta, technical pre-alpha, early access, you know, there's a demo, you know, that like 
I, I literally, I have found it so hard to find the release dates of like anything anymore. And almost the way that I figure out what release dates are lately is I wait until I just see a lot of people asking me about it. Sean, are you excited for Elden Ring on the 25th of February? Yeah, it's like one of the only dates that I actually knew, so I probably shouldn't use that one. People are like, Sean, are you excited about the blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, never even, never even knew it was going to be out right away. Like Songs of Conquest? Dude, yo, you know how I found out Songs of Conquest was coming out today? You know how I found that out? I just have been mentioning it a lot. And then the developers of Song Conquest, Songs of Conquest tweeted like, Hey, do you know anyone who's been interested in this game? And someone was like, at day nine. And Songs of Conquest was like, yo, we sent you an email, right? Like, that's that's how I learned about it. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Anyways, back to these absolute weepers. Who did this? Barry Ann's? A group of Barry Ann's. I'm only going to read this to the tune of Barbara Ann by the Surfer Burfers. Oh my god, who sings Barbara Ann? Not the Surfer Burfers. What are the names of them? Beach Boys. There it is. <laughs> I think Surfer Burfers is pretty accurate. Group of Barry Ann <laughs> overtook our land. Group of Barry Ann mercenaries marched towards Barksburg. But it were knights that attacked us. Men of Arleon setting fire to our homes, taking no surrender. All we could do was flee to the hills north of here. Surfer Burfers? The wounded man tried to speak, then fell limp. His eyes glazed over as he curled over his iPhone 11. He had begun surfing Reddit. He would be there for several hours. His essence is in the wind, but Stout Heart still stands. Come, there are survivors here yet. Let's search the hills before we journey south to Boxburg. It's time to put an end to this. All right. Look for survivors, optional. Yeah, isn't that isn't that nice? It's very sadistic. All right, let's, uh, I think that what we do is we go All right, because here's the path out. So I think the, the path I'll take will be somewhat of a, of a Jeremy Baramy through here. Let's go ahead and end that turn. Ending turns is, like, alarmingly easy in this game. You know what? Where, where's, where's our owned buildings information? Nice. What's this? This is troop information? Nothing? Research information? What? Research menu provides an overview of all the research available to your kingdom. Research affects all of your troops and resources. It's connected to specific research buildings with their own focus. Some focus on weapons and armor, while others focus on bang and bong. You don't only need to build the specific research buildings of your choice. You also need to defend it in order for your research to endure and be in effect. Really? Oh my god, attackable technology. Look at this. Well, I had plus one weapons research, but then my opponent killed my forge, and I just unupgraded. Research becomes unavailable. Effectively paused. If the research building related to that research is pillaged or raised, the research is available again when the relevant research building is repaired or rebuilt. Got it. Grand Armory. Garmory. Academy. Missing building. Okay, so this is pretty, it's pretty basic. It's pretty basic. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Mega Kill 66 says, does this have multiplayer co-op and versus like Might and Magic? I have absolutely no idea in the slightest Mega Kill. I, I just don't even know. All right, we're back in the window. We're going. No survivors remain, but sifting through the ashes, some resources are found. No survivors remain, but sifting through the ashes, some resources are found. Do you think we're going to sift through the ashes of this dead commander and some resources will be found? No survivors remain, but sifting through the ashes, some resources are found. Dead commander. Do I want some gloves? Fuck yeah, man. I love gloves, man. I'm going to, like, take it off in battle and smack the opponent. So good. Iyashi Akuma says, wow, that is a giant man. This is exactly what it feels like when I travel around Europe. No survivors remain, but there's money pouring out of everything. Did I, did I go here? did go here. 
Cozy Tavern, source of power. As they reached the top of the hill, they found a sturdy tavern in the soot-covered, injured, and scared survivors of Hope's Glade. From among them, a minstrel stood and greeted Cecilia. <gasps> Minstreling. What should her minstrel voice be? I don't know. Anytime, not entirely sure what voice to use. We always revert to Timmy. And the best way to return to Timmy is to have a sip of coffee. Hail! Do my eyes deceive? The Baroness of Stoutheart to grant reprieve! I mean, if you avenge those foul knights, then we brave souls will join your fight. And with your aid, Stoutheart will stand, returning peace and order to the land. Give me that movement. Give me that movement. Oh, shit, we get some minstrels. Bam. <laughs> what do they do? Run out to people and say, a big bad bedroom. Oh. Oh. 3D Res sounded like Hanky, the Christmas poo from South Park. What an amazing show South Park is, man. So let's see, I visited, 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 visited. Like, like the fact that you even used me in the same sentence is, I, I mean, I'm, I'm touched. Oh my god, Snuggly Sadist, I'm only just catching up with this conversation, but you're doing all right, Snuggly. I don't have details of necessarily what happened, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm seeing these statements of, of pain and and what would be described in memes as regret. Plus two movement. <gasps> oh my god, it's a town! We're gonna be building shit! Gazing across the lake, Cecilia saw the settlement of Barkspur. It was clearly occupied by another force of the Barry Ann. Mercenaries. This one led by a wielder. She readied her soldiers for the final battle to retake this region. Defeat the enemy wielder. Very different from the post apocalyptic games where you defeat the enemy welder. This is a professions joke. Alright. Always here to deliver. Oh shit. Is this guy gonna. Is this guy gonna walkie? Oh, shit, yeah. Fuck yeah, wait a minute, let's go here. Where are my spells? Where are my spells? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, How do I open the... Is it up here? Yeah, V. <gasps> so we have order. So these are like my militiamen improving this, but because we have the minstrels, we can get this. Create one barrier on the battlefield with 30 hit points. Insect Swarm deals six damage to give minus 10 initiative to target troop. Fuck! Missed. Target friendly troop becomes unattackable until it attacks or the spell duration ends. I see. Because if someone attacks you, they missed. Snuggly Sata says, I feel I failed an exam this morning. Three fourths chance if I did. If so, it means I am booted from my graduate program. As this is the third semester I've had academic difficulties. I feel I've wasted the last four years of my life. Oh my god, Snuggly Sadist. It's all okay. It's okay to just fail shit. It's okay to spend a bunch of time doing something. And to have it not work out. It's alright. It's alright, man. I... Almost every single one of my friends that entered into grad school dropped out. Or had an experience like yours where they were failing exams and going, I don't know, what the... I, what do I... Am I supposed to just keep banging my head against the wall of this shit? You know? And every single one of them that dipped out of grad school had a much happier life afterwards. Much happier. Grad school is, you know, when I was younger, I kind of had this sensation. Like, because when I was younger, let me tell you, somebody says, I was like, I want to be a math professor. That's what I want to be. I want to be a math professor because I like math. It makes sense. I'm not amazing at it, but I'm very stubborn. So I'll bang my head against it until I do. And therefore, I'll eventually figure it out. Yes. Hmm. And then what happened is I was getting into, like, my final year of undergraduate. And, like, dude, I, like, literally the math was too fucking hard. It was, it was literally too hard for me. It was, like, so abstract. And I was, like, looking at these graduate programs, and I mean, like, you know, 
shit like algebraic topology, like, I, if you want to know what algebraic topology is, I can't tell you, because I looked at it for a long time, and I can't even describe what the point of the field is, right? Not even, like, particular theorem or proof to reproduce. I was just like, what? Like, almost all analysis, and I don't mean, like, the sort of colloquial use of analysis. I mean, like, the mathematical field of analysis and real analysis and um, a complex analysis was just, like, didn't fucking make any sense for me. I mean, it literally didn't make sense. And and believe it or not, I, I felt like a real failure. Because I, it's, it, it's one thing if it's like, do I want to be a doctor? I'm not enjoying this. I'm going to choose not to be a doctor. Versus, I want to be a mathematician. Oh no, I think my brain isn't good enough for this shit. That's what, that was me. And so I applied to half grad schools, half game dev schools, because I liked the sort of technical problem solving aspect of working in game stuff, but also that it was more creative, which, I mean, frankly, helped relieve a little bit of pressure for me as well, you know? And it doesn't mean, like, and, and if, if I'm, if I'm just, you know, if I may be so vain as to say, snugly sadist, here I am professionally playing the spiritual successor to my favorite game, right? Like, dude, it worked out fine. But there were there was like a period there where I was just like, oh, I suck. I'm trash. You know, I didn't present it that way. Yeah, you know, I'm really I'm really interested in uh, game development, and so that's really. I mean, and obviously, I had a passion for competitive gaming and a passion for you know creative projects, like obviously. But uh oh ha uh, yeah it's not totally not the fact that I feel like my brain is not capable enough of pursuing what has been my dream my whole life. No, no that's not what I'm going to say on a application to USC. Be like I'm not smart enough for my other dream. So this is my backup plan. Please fuck fuck fuck. Please let me in. I didn't say that, right? But, you know, like, I had a friend that was pursuing a PhD uh, and barely hit the master's and bailed. And was like, oh, God, oh, shit, almost presented, you know, internally as like, I'm a real failure. Oh, my God, I wasn't able to get through the program. And people would look at the CV and go, oh, my God, you have a master's in this. It's incredible, amazing. I have a friend who didn't get a master's or a PhD, but went to grad school for a few years. And when they applied, was like, yeah, you know, I actually just was more interested in going into industry. And people will go, oh, wow, so you had like a few years of grad school. That's like really interesting. That's really amazing. And then, I mean, the fact is you got tons of valuable information, tons of really valuable experience. I don't even know what your field is, Nugly Sadist, but you are doing just fine. You're doing just fine. I promise you everything's going to be completely fine. My life has been riddled with failures that have really stung. Oh, I got all sorts of that shit. Even in the last 13 years, Dan and I too, there's all sorts of shit we've done that has fucking tanked. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, there's, it's not say it says, I take the concept of failure as a learning process. I just didn't expect to be, official, to be officially be measured and found wanting. I have 200,000 or more in debt. No masters, no PhD, I'm in pharmacy. Even things like that, you're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. Because, you know, here's the thing, Snuggly Sadist. There is only one thing that you're ever going to need to use to fix any problem, and that's time. It's just going to be time. It's just going to be time. I mean, like, there's there's a whole conversation to be had about, you know, debt in education and uh, the, the frustration that... I mean, I'm someone that doesn't actually have any more debt, Al almost. Like, um, I effectively have no debt, right? And I still, you know, there's the whole discussion to be had that is separate, which is like, should anyone pay for education in America? I don't think so. I think it should all be, they should all be government funded, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But even all that said, I have literally 10 plus friends that had 200K plus of debt. Who, and it, okay, so at least four of the 10 that I'm specifically thinking of 
dropped out of their program so they don't have the accreditation. Um, and they all, they all turned out fine. And everything wound up being fine, right? It all turned out okay. It's this moment of transition that feels the shittiest. Because, you know, there's, there's one thing... There's one thing that... Um, this was told to me by a therapist who kicked ass. And still kicks ass, but she also used to. Um, that, uh, in a lot of ways, the human brain does not really crave comfort as much as it craves habituation. Where some of the most devastating and difficult and challenging things is not actually going from a comfortable to an uncomfortable. It's going from one known, understood, regular pattern into an unknown. That unknown feels really uncomfortable. Um, I mean, this is where all the sort of self-judgment can can pop in, right? You know, you know, because like sometimes our self-judgments can be motivational for us. Ugh. I'm just not figuring this problem out. Ugh. I'm going to need to spend... I'm literally going to sit here stubbornly until I figure it out. I'm not going to be one of those people that gives up. I'm not a quitter, right? It's a little bit of negative self-talk. Oh, I'm not a quitter. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not a quitter. I'm not these negative things, and I'll prove it to myself by staying up till four in the morning on a math problem. Ooh. And then I can't solve the math problem. Does this mean that I'm a quitter? No, it just didn't mean I, means I couldn't fucking solve the math problem, right? It's not going to say this, you're going to get through it just fine. You, you spent four years in a grad program. You learned and are capable of doing things that almost everyone in this chat can't because of your background. You're capable of doing that. $200,000? It's a lot of money. There's a discussion to be had again about, like, should people be paying that much? But the fact of the matter is, you're going to be able to get through it. There are programs to help. And at the end of the day, if you get a job where you have to be on a payment plan, you know what you're going to do next? You know what's going to happen? Amazingly, bizarrely, in the weirdest twist ever, when dramatic things happen, you know what most of the day is? Just fucking hanging out. It's like not, you know, it's like whatever. Like, like, Snowy says, imagine for a moment, you got a job. It pays you some amount of money. You then have a budget for your rent, your food, the other expenses. You also have like a payment plan for your uh, for your grad program. And then you know what your days are going to be? Working the nine to five, coming home, and then needing to entertain yourself until you go to bed. Most, like 99% of what you're going to need to do in this is just hanging out. And it's really kind of shitty too. I mean, like this is <laughs> like, like very literally a lot of the horrifying and negative experiences I've, I've been through have been along the lines of like, oh my God, that's horrible. Well, uh, do you want to get lunch? We still got to get lunch. What are you in the mood for? You know, it's not going to excite us. Here's what I'm going to recommend you do. And then we're going to switch back to playing Songs of Congress. Here's what I'm going to recommend you do. Today, for the rest of the day. Today, there is, there, there's one thing that your brain is going to panically make you do, right? Your brain's going to be like, I need to look up payment plans. I need to look up jobs. I need to figure out what the fuck my financial plan looks like. Oh my god, what's going on in my bank account? Oh shit, do I need to cancel some plans? Right? There's going to be the very functional, fix the problem, fix the problem, fix the problem. But... It's another thing I want you to do today, it's not going to say this. What's your favorite indulgence food? That's not like, all oh, the French laundry, Michelin star shit. Like, for me, it's a Chipotle burrito. It is a margarita pizza with prosciutto. It's bread and brie, you know. Go get yourself your most favorite, delicious, straightforward go-to meal. Put on your favorite album or your favorite playlist. Go re-watch an episode of your favorite TV show that you've seen before. Pick back up 
your favorite game that's ideally not something competitive like Dota 2 or StarCraft, where you'll, like, lose and be like, oh, I really do fucking suck, right? Something like, like single player, you know? Just spend the day returning to things that feel good. Not finding new things that feel good. Make it a return back to the things that you know. Give yourself permission to do that. Give yourself permission to do that. You know what? I give you permission to do that. It's not just, you don't got to do shit for this problem. For the rest of the day. Have yourself just a nice ass day. You know what I mean? And you're going to be disoriented. There's going to be a lot of like painful, shitty things. Speaking of painful and shitty, Jesus, look at this. Um, yeah, it's going to be painful. It's going to be weird stuff. And it's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel all these terrible things. But make sure you slot in some time to just do hour filling. Where you're filling the hours with the good stuff. So let's see. So it, so if I if I'm understanding this correctly, I can move here. And this dude now has this zone of influence here. Ah. So all my nerds, so if Here's this hex, so if I park myself here, so now this whole hexagon is covered, this whole hexagon is covered, so now this, this ranger is actually quite well protected. Okay, so let's see here. This is Quicken. This is the ones that need to reload. So, let's see. This guy is going to be coming up while wow, the entire team gets to go first. Fucking holy shit. So, let's see. What's what's my range here? High ground just gives me plus one range. So, that means if I walk forward two tiles, I should be able to shoot this guy. Oh, if I've moved, that's minus 50% damage. Holy shit. All right, let me just... Let me see if quickening this guy can give him more initiative on the following round. Oh, that is bad fucking news. Alright, so here is... Yeah, so this will kill every single one of these guys. So let's go ahead and just shoot this one. I'm getting spells cast on me, man. Essences and creation and chaos. Oh shit, this is so sick. Okay. Boss. What? There's a little ability on you? Cost one movement and ends the turn. What? Oh my god, I can just end the fucking turn? I mean I don't want to do that because I still have all my dudes left. So if I come here, though... Oh, he can hit me. Shit. It's fine. I'll have this one shoot the spear boy. Ugh. Run back to here. Let's just destroy the largest one. Great. Alright, what do we have here? Holy shit. Okay, so let's actually take a peek at the spells we can cast. All friendly troops get fury. Swap place between two target troops. Okay. Target enemy range troop gets minus 50 range. Minus. Okay, that's not that much of a deal. This is... Move friendly. Okay, so I actually don't want to do any of these quite yet. 
Um, so I can't leave this because it will... Okay, so if I walk out of here... Oh, if I walk at all, I get hit once per movement? Oh, that's fucking really nice. Because that means you actually have super strong space control with melee units. Oh, that's terrific. All right, let's shoot this fucking guy. What does this do? Target enemy troop gets minus damage? Yeah, eat shit. Yeah. Victory! Eh. So battle. B-Town process, that's a cool mechanic. Helps balance against ranged. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I mean, there's actually a really interesting kind of discussion that... I mean, I actually feel it's more than discussion. It's just like this never-ending conversation slash attempt to address slash analysis of how do you make sure that ranged units aren't disproportionately better than melee units? So, like, in Dota, literally there are items that says if you're a melee unit, you get a big bonus. And if you're a ranged unit, you get a tiny bonus. Like, it's just, it just says it. It's crazy. You know, it'll be like, this thing, oh yeah, or, or like this, if you, if you use this ability on a melee unit, it'll only last three seconds. But if you use it on a ranged unit, it'll last six seconds. So debuffs are stronger, this sorts of thing. Um. Hmm. Cyborg Strategist just makes you need an encyclopedia for friggin' Dota. Well, yeah, I mean, there's also a lot of things like uh, in this game where melee units now have an area of protection and the range units have, like, way less health and then there actually needs to be positioning battles that occur. I mean, this is really cool. Weirdo, we appeal to your honor and beg that you negotiate a surrender. I am Namanda Breeze. <laughs> that actually sounds like the setup for a joke. Ah, uh, of the Quartz Battalion. The stranger of these parts, I can see the field and withdraw my forces. You are indeed a stranger, Barry Ann. Or you would know by my colors that I am Cecilia Stoutheart. Was it your weapons that armed the bandits who caused the uprising in the mines? Look, there's a misunderstanding, milady. Mm -hmm. We were led to believe by our employer that they had a lawful claim on these lands. When we realized our betrayal, we had already signed the contract. By the mercenary code, we could not withdraw our services. Ah, one of these fucking people. Reveal to me your employer and their plans. If I am satisfied with your answer, I will spare you. But every Baryan of your company must leave my lands immediately. It was Lady Hammond that hired us. The Topaz Battalion is sent to recover Ashbourne. We are grateful for your mercy, Lady Stoutheart. May this deal bring good fortune to each party. This information is adequate. I will spare your life and instead send you to the prison in Castle Everkeep. There you may contemplate that honor might be worth more than gold. Wow, we're hardcore. Shit. Shit. Corporal, this is your chance to redeem yourself for your error in the tender wild. Take two squads and transport Captain Amanda Breeze to Everkeep until we can arrange for the ransom. You can all trust me so much! Thumbstress is Hayden. I'm guessing you're presenting the PC Gaming Show again. Is there anything you can tell us about it? Uh, I am going to be gone Thursday, Friday, not Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. So we were. This is the second to last show this week. Tomorrow we're going to play Elden Ring. That's the last one of this week. I'm doing mostly walking on Monday, but the week of the 23rd is when we're actually back in full. So um, all all that I'm willing and comfortable to tell you is that I am going to be there again. I'm nearly certain that it, that has been announced, and if it hasn't, whoops. All right. With Barkspur restored to stout heart rule of law, Cecilia gathered her troops once more and set out to pursue the Topaz Battalion and prevent the occupation of Ashburn. For this, she would need the aid of Vilja of Thorncliff, warden of stout heart and Cecilia's longtime friend. Oh, we get cutscenes! Oh, we have our cutscene! With grim conviction rose Cecilia of Stout Heart <laughs> To 
crush rebellions and push back another rap star. Oh, yes, sing it. Lady Heaven claimed her settlement. Oh, what rhymes with settlement, huh? Settlement. Stop your fucking meddling. This is the game. Yeah, no, I, 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 someone watched The Witcher. I don't know, I, just, I didn't, no. Stingy says, any plans on revisiting Hood, Outlaws, and Legends? Ha ha. <laughs> I, I, we might, like, literally triple the player base if we started playing. With the tragedy at Hope's Glade fresh in her mind, Cecilia Stoutheart set off in swift pursuit of the Berrien mercenaries hired by Lady Hammond. She must get to Ashburn and defend her holdings. They were likely, there were likely many uh, people in the region still loyal to the Hammond family, so she would need more forces before facing the Berrien mercenaries. She would call to her old friend, Vilia. Vilia, pass me that mayonnaise of Thorncliff. Vilia never backed down from a fight. Vilia, do me a favor. All right. Responsibility of rule. Use tab to cycle between realism. Control tab to cycle between your towns and settlements. Ah, oh, very well. Cecilia's forces hurried super quickly to Thorncliff. They could hear the sounds of battle in the nearby woods to the south. She urged her troops onward. Can I actually go this way? Oh no, this is the edge of the map. Alright, that's good. Sometimes you're a dumbass. This thing happens. Plus one movement. As Cecilia's forces neared the site of the battle, they saw that it was all but over, and the victor, a warden in Stoutheart colors, was Vilia of Thorncliff. Vilia wiped the blood from her axe and strode over to Cecilia. Cecilia, Vilia. Hey, little Cecilia. Well met. I was just doing a little pruning. Some obnoxious weeds tried to take over this road. I guess they didn't know that I like an orderly garden. Ah, yes. <laughs> I never... Oh, how does the quote go? Ah, yes. Whenever I encounter some little hitch, some of my orbs get out of orbit. Nothing pleases me so much is to make the crooked straight and to crush down uneven places. I really liked that quote as a kid. Because I liked the idea of, you know, the big chaos, various complex problems and struggles, and when you're just structuring and ordering and progressing. I liked that feeling. And then later I learned that it was actually the story of how a king absolutely smites anyone that appears to be pushing against him. And he, how he quashes rebellions with extreme force and prejudice. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that quote so much anymore. Hail, Vilia, my old friend. I hate to take you away from your gardening, but if these weeds are more bannerless knights, then I think I know the root of it. Lady Hammond has hired Berrians, and they're headed for Ashburn. Your father's sentence on the old lord was too harsh. Now your people pay the price. Lay tribute should not be cause for execution. And then to banish his heir? That is a deep wound. We could mend it. It is done, and my father is done, and it is within the law, and it's fine, and I'm not going to talk about it. I must now deal with Lady Hammond and her hired Barry Anns. Are you with me? My powers are yours, as always. But something impedes the shipments of celestial ore and ancient amber from our mines to the west. I thought it was these bandits. The Zenunasing. It must be Hammond's mercenaries again. Best to deal with that first. We'll need all of our strength before we face the Barry Anns. I don't think it's Hammond forces. Something doesn't feel right, Cecilia. Regardless of your feeling, we must act. Gather your forces and meet me at Thorncliff. Very well, old friend. I'll await you at Thorncliff. Gang Amber Mines. Whoa. Objective. Objective. Objectives. Alright, what is this? Travel to Ashburn? Alright. 
All right, let's keep on keeping on. Oh shit, look at this sword. Do I get to keep my old stuff? Oh, I'm the same here. Oh yes, all right, end the turn. Oh, 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 medium build site. I need to claim this town to build here. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my God, give me that pouch of gold. Oh my God, am I gonna get to build shit? Oh fuck yeah, let's get to this large farmhouse. Saving 150 gold per round to go. Fuck yeah, man. Give me them sharp swords. What is this? Plus five offense, that's what I'm talking about, man. It's in a dull sword. Fuck yeah. All right, end the turn. Claiming towns and settlements. Settlements come in two sizes, large and small. Much like orders of ice cream. Settlements and towns with connected buildings are where you produce resources and troops, recruit new wielders, and perform research. When you encounter neutral settlements on your adventures, you need to use a wielder to claim it. Use the mouse on the settlement and your wielder will claim it, furthering your conquest. The maximum number of wielders you can have is determined by how many towns or settlements you have in the tier of each town and settlement. Great. Build sites where you construct buildings. Yes! Oh. The buildings can produce resources or troops, unlock research possibilities, or provide other services to your kingdom. Order to build on a build site, left click it and choose what to construct, the size of the build site, small, medium, or large, and your current resources determine what you are able to build that site. Construct small buildings on a large building site, but not vice versa. Cool. For each town and settlement, you can only construct one building per turn. More can be unlocked via research. Small buildings take one turn to complete, medium buildings two turns, and large buildings take three turns. You should not regret your current construction. Or should you regret your current construction, you can cancel it and get a full refund. I have no regrets ever under any circumstance. Almost all buildings can be upgraded. Even small ones, left click the buildings to explore the upgrades. Mm. Uh, and if they have associated research, which might unlock more troops or upgrade the stats. Great, each town and settlement has a central building. Which is where you can recruit new wielders, revive defeated wielders, and upgrade the amount of build sites you have access to. You can also manage the defense by drafting new troops and moving your wielder into the town or settlement to defend. Large settlement. Alright, let's go. Okay, that was very... It was very not dramatic. Alright. Place to trade and purchase, so what do we need? We need more celestial ore and stone. Alright, so there's a small build site. We can get militia, we can get minstrels, gold, stone, wood. Oh, fucking sick. What, what do we actually feel like we need? Maybe some, maybe some stone? Let's build a quarry, huh? Oh my god, it shows the tier there. Yeah, self-arm. Okay. Alright, so if I go here and give me some minstrels, huh? Oh my god, I'm playing Heroes of Might and Magic. This is insane. This is the game. Alright, I'm going down to this farmhouse. And then I'm gonna work my way to the to the west. To the weft. So what is... Your quarry's been completed. One stone around. Sick. So wh what do I need for this one? I just need... This is barracks. Plus one knight, huh? Requirements of peasant hut. This requires celestial ore and stone. Okay, so then, then we need a peasant hut. Tavern a farm, can I manage defense? Okay, so if I get more... Okay. Okay. I can spend stone and wood to get another medium build site and another large build site. And I actually... I want this fucking castle. I think I maybe shouldn't have built a quarry. I should have built a peasant hut, huh? You know what? I'm going to trash this because I'm just interested in doing it. 
peasant hut. Yeah, great. Let's build this. Cool. Cool. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back this way. Oh my God, an order spire. Okay, wait, wait. There, there's just there's just too many things. Some militia gathered on the road to the mines. Lady, the mines have been overrun by beasts from the forest. The fire attacking. Hey, if you trespass on the tender wild, or worse, fell any trees from these woods, tell me truthfully. Uh, no, Cecilia, uh, you know the old ways here, and we never trespass. No, we're super good. Always obey the terms of service. The fey spirit swarmed out of the tender wild a few days ago, attacking all in sight. We fled. We're freaking out. A few days ago. Then it was before the militia's trespass near Flynn Hills. We will try to reason with these creatures, though we had no success before. If reason should fail, our sword will return order to Thorncliff. Violence! Yay! Yes! Uh, oh, I just read it. Okay, never mind. This is the game. Okay, so. Is this a cliff or a hill? Oh, it's so good. All right, so let's end the turn, all right? Peasant hut has been completed, all right? That's there. Then if I go to this, I have this. I just need uh, everything, huh? How do I see how many minstrels are actually here, huh? So it looks like I can't actually see how many minstrels are there. I just need to, like, know and be aware. Survivors, but we got a bunch of goods. Oh shit, give me this shit, dude. Are you kidding? Put this in there, man. Oh, oh, so we get a plus five and plus five, or we could have plus nine, huh? Let's go offense, man. Let's go all out. So this castle, we just need some more stone. We actually should need a ton of burnt amber, huh? We could potentially upgrade this if we just get more stone and wood. So let's make that our sort of short-term goal. So here's a stone deposit. All right. Um, all right, let's just end. Face spirits. Yeah, that's not that many. Fierce little face spirits swarmed around the lumber mill, screeching and threatening the stout heart forces. Traitors worthless. Oath-breaking humans. We broke no oath, face spirits. Totally not us. Leave these lands now and I shall see to your death. Oh, yeah. Storm Spy will claim lands. Wish return of death? We bring death. By the way, this is why you should use snake case or camel case in your variable names. This is very hard to read. I'm actually going to put them farther. I guess we can do that there. Manual? Sure. Oh my god, Michael! What is up, Michael? Let's go, Michael! Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, Sigordini, holy shit. We got Shmageggy. What are all the greatest people doing in one location? Fuck! Holy shit. Sigordini says, hey, didn't I? I've been super active, personal events, but I... Do still love your content? Feel you as a creator. Serve every penny I can throw your way. Got to ask you ever look into Cadence of Hyrule? Sigurdini, I didn't. I didn't look into Cadence of Hyrule. I know that it was a game that I thought was like an expansion or a skin on Crypt of the Necrodancer, and it turns out it's just a completely different game. And that like surprised the crap out of me. But thanks for the five years of support, Sigurdini. Shmageggy is, is rolling on in. Oh, it's so good to see this. Holy shit, is this legit? This is accomplishing the Here's Might and Magic vibe? I mean, I haven't played a ton of it, but I'm having an awfully good time. I actually think I'm going to run my minstrels away because I want to be able to generate these resources. 
So I'm going to go here and attack this guy first. So if I move here, this will let me shoot this. Outside range, do these guys fucking suck? There we go. Gotcha. Alright, so let's go ahead and end, end the turn. Alright, to battle. Dude, Amos Crab says, I hope that I can get a Skelly Lad army. If I don't get necromancy in this game, then this game gets a 0 out of 10 for me. Then the game is trash. And the developers are watching right now, and they're like, Oh my god, we don't have necromancy. Like, mm hmm, that's right. I raised the stakes. Give me them stones. And this is... This is a gold mine, but this is a lumber mill, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... So you want the minstrels back here. It's Wade Wilson says, Necromancy live passion, 30 minutes. I know, right? Alright, so I'm actually going to end this. We're going to just Militia Stab. Fine, ow. Shoot the one that's farther away here. Ow. Oh, yeah. Drenzen says, the real question is, can this game's balance be exploited like you could in Heroes of Might and Magic? Was Heroes of Might and Magic at some point a balanced game? What? Like, are you serious? I mean, I thought it was a game where everyone got to just enjoy the experience of getting huge, and at some point you encounter one fight and go, Oh, I lost 80 turns ago, huh? That's how that's done. Unlock the ability to do five troops. I don't think we need this command. Plus 10 ranged resistance. Um, let's do taxes. A few things I love more than taxes. I mean, I fucking, I love taxes. Alright, so we, we are... So in a turn, we're going to be able to upgrade this. This castle still requires the Celestial Ore, which we do not have. Oh, I'm fucking going this way, aren't I? The barriers are sometimes not entirely clear here, but that's fine. That's fine. All, all we ever do is play games that are not entirely clear anyway, so I don't see what the big deal is. Plus 20 defense, minus 10 offense. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't see any more construction sites here. Oh, shit. I should have done that on the previous turn. All right, let's upgrade. Wielder limit has increased, and you can now purchase more wielders. At any of your towns or settlements. Okay. So I click this. That's wielders. Oh, shit. Look at you. Oh, fuck. Recruit. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, let's... Mmm. Let's do some... Mmm. Let's get that shit, man. The Grand Armory. The Academy. Economy research. Wielder research. Human research. Human research. Troop movement. Improvements? Yeah, let's do the Grand Armory. That's what I'll plan on putting here. It requires a shitload of all things. This thing. Barracks or medium marketplace. Alright. Alright, so we don't have that many. Let's see here. This is... Minstrels, Militia, and it'll be ready in two turns. So if I go here, I mean, it's about all I can afford. And let's send her this way. Oh my god, are we playing Here's Mind Magic? Oh, okay. 
Apple sell for quite a bit. So if I if I select this lady and look at this. Alright. Let's keep going this way. We'll go to this last. And oh, this is so good. Alright, dude. Dude, look at look at the stats on this. <laughs> plus 29 defense, why not? Plus 20 offense, plus 20 defense, minus 10, minus 10. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. We're so big. Whoa! I always found this a little annoying that, like, diagonals, like, super, super do not count. In some weird situations, like, we can go diagonal here. Yeah. As the stout heart forces explored the ravaged area, some scouts reported in from the nearby lookout tower. Greetings, milady. We've just fled. <laughs> Take control. The Fae have no need for amber. Why would they leave their woods to provocation? Weird battle cries of storm spire. It was terrifying. You know, um... I know this is really common in fantasy where you just take two words, two English words, and you just like, just like smash them together, you know? It's the Stormlight Archives. Look, it's Storm Spire. Oh, it's Stout Heart. I mean, we are just <laughs> mashing them together so hard. Storm Spire might be their leader. Maybe they can tell us what action has broken the peace. Join us and we'll restore the mines and seek out this Storm Spire. <laughs> Decide what troops you want to move. Mass move. What? Rangers? Oh, let's do this. Oh. Done. Golds. Golds! So I, I actually... Is this... Is it right here? It's like just off camera? I was kind of wanting to go up here and get... Dude, I'm going to go up here first. I'm crazy. I'm crazy in the coconut. Alright, so... Let's end the... Alright, ending it. I'm going this way, man. Lookout tower. Oh, fuck yeah. Come on. There's a celestial miner right there. Oh, look at the fey beasts. Hell yeah. Gold. We're going to go to Cairn. It says ancient amber excavation visited. I have not visited any such thing. All right, let's go over here. So as a question, can I build small things here? So why can I not build this? Is it because I can only have one structure building at a time, right? That that's that was my assumption that I can only have one structure building at a time. But I'm just curious to see it on the interface. Actually, I'm gonna work my way around this way, dude. Happy spirit. Okay, let's... Dude, ain't no party like a minstrel party. Dude, they're, th these maps are just, like, super dense. I mean, this is an insane amount of shit. Okay. Alright, well, this is the game. Going to the camps. Do I want more militia? I think I just want the troops. Like, I, I think I'm more constrained on things like... Out of movement. Not in town. Alright. Um. 
So if I were to go to any of these, I mean, I know it's saying that it's smaller. I, I, I think that I'm actually only allowed to build one thing at one time. Ready in one round. Okay. So now that I am done with this construction, hooray. So, requires a lumber mill. Plus two shield of order around. Sure. Okay. So each town has a little miniature tech tree. Okay. Now this is a little different than Heroes. And I, I you know, I'm actually not super sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Which is that in um and here's Might and Magic, you could get all the buildings at every location. You are restricted by resources. But it feels like a lot of modern games kind of have this like, okay, there are ten possible buildings, you may only choose five at this existing settlement, so you have to kind of choose the mini tech tree you want to unlock here. And I'm not sure what I feel about any of that. The hamlet Danesboro had been reduced to rubble. And in the middle of the wreckage, walking skeletons with rusted weapons were seen. The game has skeletons. I don't even know what happens in the rest of this ship. Do I care? I do not. Oh, I can loop all the way up here? Oh, dude, hell yeah. Plus three, glimmer weave. Scholar's lectern. Signer of Whitecliff developed a method to detect areas where essence occurred in abundance. Later, Aurelia's Council of Wielders would construct the Essence Spire so wielders could easily connect to these naturally occurring sources. All right. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. So, this says Scholar's Lectern visited. But I believe if I select Cecilia Stoutheart and then I navigate over here and look at this, it's not been visited. So, it's actually, like, depends on who... So, every hero that I have can actually make the journey over to there. Watching town. How do we get up here? Ah, I see. Interesting. All right. Well, dude, let's let's do it. Let's go. Before the mine stood fey creatures that Cecilia Stoutheart had heard of in legends, but never seen. These were the Horned Ones, with the power and speed of rams and the temperament to match. Their fearlessness in battle was the subject of many songs from the time of a rebel. <gasps> Who is your leader? Who dares break the covenant and enjoy Stoutheart lands? Oh, I forgot the voices. Giandra Storm Spire, the one who dares, breaks no covenant is called for destruction. Turn to the Storm Spire, Horned Ones, and trespass no further. Let us mend the covenant and regain the peace. Oh. You know, we can, we can go Kermit. Ah, oh, little human. Uh, the time for speaking is past. Now raise your paltry shield so we can shit on your shit. All right, I do want the militia here. I'll have the... This is a bit of a weird... Uh, lineup, but I want the minstrels in the back because they're producing the essences of creation and chaos. And I gotta admit, that's like fucking sick, right? You have, the units are what are generating the mana, which means I now have a motivation to keep the, the weak spellcasters alive because they're actually generating the resources that I care about. See how it's giving me one chaos and one essence? So I'm just gonna, oh, fucking holy shit. What are the stats of these? They have 40 health, 23 offense. Holy shit, I have 46. Jesus. I don't know why this one is a little bit less. Oh my god, that guy's fucking sick. Yeah, let's take him out. Thank <laughs> you. 
No. Ow. Oh, I see. You can only do this once around. Let me just keep going over here, playing my music, man. Oh, it's reloading? Holy shit, that's bad fucking news, man. Oh my god, these... Ugh. Pathetic. Alright, so we actually have a lot of shit here. All friendly troops get minus 25 defense, plus... 25 melee offense. I'm casting this. Hell yeah. Well, we did it. Oh. All right. Oh, give me that. Give me more ore. More ore. Out of movement. Fuck. All right, because if I come back here, what I really want to build is I want to build a castle. Oh, I can afford it. I only need three of that shit, man. I'm so sick. Bam. Building it. Getting it done. Making it work. Hmm. I can upgrade some of these other things. Income plus two stone. Sure. Oh, ooh, we get troubadours, huh? It's troubadour time. Militia becomes sappers, huh? All right, so I think we're good. I think we're good to end the round. Game saved.